the rocks split with horrible tear and fearfully shakes all the ground the dead from their slumbers awake and leaving their mouldy domain make poor guilty mortals to quake as pallid they glide o'er the plain hello i'm sora i was created to automatically narrate content in unity video games and cutscenes. i can generate speech from text as i am doing now but i can also work with voice actor files as you just saw at the end of this tutorial you will be able to create an avatar that syncs their lips to an audio file like amy at the start of this video We'll be using a free asset for the character and a paid asset for the lip sync. The first asset is Unity Multipurpose Avatar, known as Uma. This is a free character generation system. The lip sync animations are handled by Salsa Lip Sync. In subsequent tutorials in this series you will see how to achieve things such as have your avatar use a text-to-speech engine, manage a dialogue between multiple characters, lip sync to a live voice via a microphone and create a talking head for cut scenes. Let's get started. The first job is to create a Uma character. Start with a brand new project. Import the Uma asset. Now create a plane for the Uma to stand on. All scenes that have a Numa character must have a Numa DCS prefab in them. Search for that in the project window and drag the prefab into your scene. The avatar itself is an instance of the prefab Uma dynamic character avatar with expressions. Search for it in the project window and drag it into your scene view. Note that you cannot see the character yet only a vague shape to show you where the avatar is. Let's make a female avatar, change the active race to human female. Now hit play. The avatar is created with default settings. It is possible to change the look of the avatar by changing the DNA settings, however, that's a topic for another tutorial. She's looking a little embarrassed right now, so let's give her some clothes. Clothes and accessories are added to the Uma using wardrobe recipes. On the dynamic character avatar component there is an area where we can drop these recipes in order to add them to the character. Lock the inspector so that we can navigate the project contents without losing access to the drop zone. Uma includes some wardrobe recipes in the folder at Uma, Content, Uma Core. Naturally we will use the ones for a female. Add shoes, hair, pants, and a top recipe by dragging and dropping them onto the drop zone. Now hit play to see your clothed Uma. We need to move the camera closer to get a good view of our Uma. Those clothes look fine, but there are other clothes available in the folder Uma, Content, Uma Examples, Human Female, Recipes, Wardrobe Recipes. Let's take a look at some of those too. Replace the pants and the top with recipes from this set. Changes to the Uma are not saved in play mode, so reapply all changes in edit mode. Hit play again to check everything is ok. Notice that the colors of the clothing are randomized. You can control this if you want but we'll leave things as they are for now. We now have a complete character. You can use this Uma like any other model in Unity. The next step in creating an avatar is to have their mouth and lip movements synchronized with speech. Salsa Lip Sync enables the avatar to synchronize with audio. It's really easy to set up. First import Salsa Lip Sync from the Asset Store. The Uma integration comes as separate downloads from Crazy Minnow Studios. The easiest way to find them is by selecting the game object menu and choosing Crazy Minnow Studios, Salsa Lip Sync, One Clicks, Get New One Clicks. This will open your browser on the Crazy Minnow website login. But you will need your asset store invoice number to login. To get your invoice number visit the asset store, Find the Salsa page and click the View Order Details link. The invoice number is also your order number so copy that. 
Now log in to the Crazy Minnow website using your email and invoice number. Once logged in, download and install the one-click UMA DCS package and the one-click base package. Everything is now installed and we can go on to configure our avatar. To set up Salsa and UMA using the one-click integration select the UMA character avatar game object. Now on the game object menu select Crazy Minnow Studios, Salsa Lip Sync, One Clicks, UMA DCS menu item. Salsa needs to unpack the prefab to work on your avatar, so select yes. That's it. Your UMA is now set up to work with Salsa. Move the camera so that you have a better view of the character's face. Hit play. Salsa. Simple automated lip sync approximation. The it works, but there are a few issues that need addressing. Firstly we have a male voice and a female avatar. Secondly, the jaw seems to be moving more than we would like. Finally, the avatar is looking around too much, we want them to look at the camera. We will address these three items now. First. Let's make the avatar use a female voice. To do this all that is needed is to change the audio file that the audio source on your avatar plays on startup. The Rainbow from Cottage Poems by Patrick Bronte. Read for the Next we need to change the base animation for one with less motion and no mouth movements. You can use any animation you want. A good source of animations is Mixamo.com. You must ensure that the animation has a humanoid rig. Create an animation controller with your chosen animation within it. Ensure it loops. To tell UMA to use this controller simply drag it into the default animation controller parameter of the race animation controllers section of the dynamic avatar controller component. Press play to see your new animation. The Rainbow from Cottage Poems by Patrick Bronte Read for LibriVox.org by Amy Graymore Cottage For this particular avatar it would look better if she looked at the camera rather than looking around randomly. This is easy to fix. Navigate to the UMA UEP driver component on the avatar and uncheck use head. Press play to see the results. It all looks pretty good at this point. We'd want to play with lighting and maybe fine tune things like the emotions in salsa and the avatar DNA in UMA. But for now this is great. So there we have it. An UMA avatar that will synchronize its facial expressions and lips to an audio file or a text-to-speech file or even a live microphone. I'll be doing some more videos in this series to show you how to do some of those things. So if you want to know how, click the subscribe button and click that notification bell. See you soon.